Seven years ago, I got this video of a jumping spider, which displays a phenomenon so fantastically that I wanted to talk a little bit about it right now. So welcome to the jungle on another virtual jungle tour. You'll notice that the spider's eyes are moving and it'll even look up through the top of its head. Jumping spiders have very sophisticated vision. The two big principal eyes are responsible for most of the spider's main vision, while the side eyes are for detecting movement. These principal eyes are very very sophisticated and are like little telescopes. They can see the moon, but that means they don't have a wide field of vision. They get around this by looking around. Now, jumping spiders don't have eyeballs like we do. Their lenses are made up of exoskeleton and therefore cannot be moved. And there's no eyeball, as it were, to wiggle around in there either. So what you're seeing is the jumping spider wiggling around its cone-shaped retina. The jumping spider retina is cone-shaped and six muscles are responsible for its movement. Four are attached inside the spider's head and two are wrapped around the retina itself. Just like us, the jumping spider has dark pigments at the back of the retina and that is what is responsible responsible for catching light, but unlike us, there's no reflective surface. So when the spider is looking directly at the camera, the eyes appear black as you're looking straight into the back of the retina. When the spider is looking somewhere else, the eyes appear green because you're looking at the side of the retina, which doesn't have the dark photosensitive pigments. The spider moves its retinas around to size up its surroundings and potential prey. Behavioral studies showed that these spiders will scan potential prey up and down and left to right to gauge its size and shape before they pounce. If you wanna see cool stuff like this, come join us in the jungle for the evolution tour. You can still get early bird pricing by going to the website, signing up for the newsletter, and then you'll get an email with all of the information.